Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Andrew Farrell and I'm the Flexi Vegan. So today's vlog is going to be about my life, my business, law of attraction and my poor life at the minute. So at the minute, um, um, next week I'm going competing in Quish, what I am going to blog because I'm going to a pole camp and I'm going to blog my competition. So I think that's going to be in two parts, so that's going to take quite a lot of time to edit. Plus I want this it be more professional looking than my other videos because obviously it's like a week's worth of stuff. So I'm going to pick up a bigger memory card because my memory card is shocking. So I'm hopefully going to get about 45 minutes of footage and probably do two 10 minute videos maybe a bit less. So, my, at my poor life, in, at, with my poor life at the minute, um, I'm entering a competition next week, I'm opening my own studio. Well, I have got my own studio, but I'm moving to my own place. Um, my studio's called Chrome Dance, and what I want to talk about is, it's a bit of a life lesson. So, um, what I mean by that is like, law of attraction and it will come to you so like i've about a year ago this guy asked me to move in his gym and um, me and my friend was undecided because we both got offered undecided whether we wanted to move in this gym or not so we ended up but like, before we decided what we was going to do someone else obviously um he got someone else what's understandable and everything because obviously it's his business it's livelihood it's his life he's got children so he obviously needs money right can't live off nothing so understandable and um, so about three months ago i got this guy got back in contact with me saying that um the person who was in the gym was well, is unreliable with money and she's known for it um so um, he offered me the gym and I said I'll take it but only in two weeks because I want to finish college. So, a little of a day I finished college, the day after I opened had my first class. I had two weeks to advertise, it went pretty well, I had eight students in my first class. What's well, not really bad saying I didn't take any students from my other school, because obviously you've, with business like this you've got to respect that. Like. You, you, I don't believe we should be competitors. We should work together to get um, Paul out there. It should be a friendly family thing. Obviously, certain people are not going to like each other, but we should be all promoting each other as much as we can and helping each other out because this is the only way the community is going to grow easier and big. If we don't work together, it's obviously going to be a rough trial and it'll die out so obviously we've all got passion for this community so we want it to grow so we should all work together um so um i went into this place and then about three weeks ago i got told the guy who i rent the space off um he's moving out in by december when he's um when it's up so i was like do I stay here? Do I move? So I was so undecided. I went around my friends. Well, one of my students, Hayley's, um, who was also a friend. Um, and we was looking at places. We was having a bit of a giggle. She was grooming some dogs. And I was like, oh, I'll go and right move and check what places there is in Wigan. So we saw a couple of places, industrial buildings. What oh, it was a good place, but downfall is the cold in winter. So we found this stable, we thought it was funny, we was joking about like how we'll have a horse and we'll call it My Little Poly as a, like a class pet. Because we have a horse like some schools have like hamsters and stuff, we'll just have a horse <laughs> um, and call it My Little Poly. So what happened was like suddenly from nowhere we got told about this guy renting a, renting a space across the road from a pet shop and we looked, at, well I went across, ran across, I got to look at it by one of the employees um, and it was absolutely amazing to see, ceilings were about three, 
meters tall but it's like a good height it's not too small it's not over at all for um for a pole studio um like and like the way he was talking and i was talking he wanted to work with me it weren't like here's my building give me a million quid and have it he was like i will work with you if you, so, you can't do something i understand you're young you're starting a business and i was like oh my god this is so good Right, so the day I saw it back to sort of see the actual manager because I've only spoke to him by, on the phone by this point and literally I looked in the building and I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll have it. I'll have this building. Um, so like, I've seen the builders. Um, I have uh, organised everything. It's amazing. Um, it's stressful but amazing because obviously I'm competing. I'm teaching lessons like 20 hours a week nearly. Um, what else is there? Um, I have to order everything for the studio on a really low budget. I'm not going to tell you how much the budget is because, like, I, like you'll know how much I've got, and I want everyone think I'm living like a champagne lifestyle on a Pizzico amount of money. So I'm trying to make it look as classy and amazing as I can and I want people to think oh my god how much did you pay for this place and me go shit all paid nothing like 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 literally didn't pay that much to open this studio and I want to take pride in that I've done it with not that much money because I've not got it um so after that but that's really my story about my studio I'm going to fit a clip of, in my, of my studio in right this moment